It's just over a year since COVID-19 became a global crisis. The financially unstable have been hit hard. I'm almost dead outside. No job, no money. Nothing. Many people are suffering without being noticed. This Pakistani resident of Tokyo strives to offer a helping hand to those in need, regardless of race or creed. We discover what motivates him. Otsuka is a district in the northern part of Tokyo. Near the end of the shopping street, stretching from the station, stands this narrow building. It's Otsuka Mosque. Built in 2000, it serves as a hub of emotional and social support for Muslims. 55-year-old Harun Kreshi has lived in Japan for the last 30 years. He was involved in the establishment of Otsuka Mosque and now serves as its secretary general. While running a trading company, he's playing a key role in the mosque's work. Harun gets many calls requesting consultation from foreigners of various nationalities living in Japan. The majority come from those held at immigration centers. Detainees ask him to send money and daily necessities, contact their families, and so on. And he answers these calls on a volunteer basis, wherever he is. Today, he's meeting a man temporarily unreleased from the Immigration Bureau after a four-year detention. I'm almost dead outside. No job, no money, nothing. How my life you expect it to be? Support. The man is in the process of applying for refugee status. He's unable to make a living as he's not qualified to work. About food, uh, later you, you send me your address, we can send you some package. After listening to the man for about one hour, Harun hands over his own money to cover his living expenses for the time being. Japan accepts far fewer refugees than other countries. Those applying for refugee status try to get by somehow or other while clinging to a thread of hope. Harun receives up to 30 letters a month asking for consultation. He carefully reads each one. Mostly they are um, uh, in detention center. The letters express their uncertainty and helplessness. The reasons for detainees wishing to stay in the country vary. Some will risk their lives if they return home, while for others, the basis of their livelihood is in Japan. Besides foreigners living in Japan, there is something else that Harun has been concerned about since his early days in the country. Konnichiwa. It's the plight of the homeless. Ah, Harun regularly talks to the homeless in the park near his house and in the area around the mosque. From about 10 years ago, he has been cooperating with this soup kitchen organized by an NPO. However, he has come to realize there is a limit to what he can do. According to a survey conducted in January 2021 by Japan's health ministry, the total number of homeless in Japan is about 3,800. Every year in this neighborhood alone, about 20 homeless people lose their lives in the park or on the streets. 
After graduating from a university in Pakistan, Haroon came to Japan in 1991 as an international student. He started a family in Japan, and he and his wife Hanako have four children. She is amazed by the number of requests Haroon receives and their contents. <laughs> What is it that drives Haroon to continue helping others so earnestly in a foreign land? At the core of his being are the teachings of Islam. Harun follows in the steps of an important mentor. Now over 80 years old, his father continues helping people. Harun is impressed by his vitality. ジハードやるって言い出し、貧しい子供または孤児の子を集めて教育させるっていうプロジェクト始めたんですね。ジハードは努力の意味ですね。教育のために力になる、困ってる人を助けてあげることとか、そういった相手のために力になる。Late April, some Japanese university students gather at Otsuka Mosque. They're studying about the coexistence of Muslims and Japanese society. Today, they are holding an online lesson at the mosque in which local high school students are also participating. Harun also joins the lesson as a guest and introduces the mosque. The students and Harun first met in November 2020. And in March 2021, with Harun's help, they organized their first food bank for needy families. The second food bank was planned for early May. However, the government has just declared a state of emergency in Tokyo because of the COVID pandemic, so the students are considering postponing the event. Harun says a growing number of people are suffering from the pandemic. Considering infection countermeasures, the students decide to accept donations by mail as well. On the day of the food bank, the students work on a shift basis to avoid getting too close together. The students' appeal has helped to increase the food items received, which now amount to a total of seven full cardboard boxes. Foodstuffs donated by Muslims who regularly visit the mosque and local neighbors will be distributed to needy families. These students are clearly influenced by Harun's example. Haroon's personal jihad will surely continue as long as there are people in need. And today again. Hi. 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 Hi.